Hi. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to change a completion status in iSpring Learn. If a user has completed a module while taking another course or passed a course offline, it makes sense that an administrator can manually change the module status to completed, passed, or failed for the user. This means the user doesn't have to repeat a completed module and you can keep his results in the reports. Let's jump in. Go ahead and select Courses, and then head to the course you want to access. Now select Edit Content from up here and go to the Enrollments tab. Then you can choose the user from the list and select Edit Enrollment. Here we can see our user's completion details for the module or for the whole course. Head to the module you want to reset completion status for and select the three dots menu, then choose Change Status. Now you can choose the status and specify the completion date. If the module is evaluated, such as a quiz, a dialogue simulation, or an assignment, you can add a score here. And finally, you can enter the reason for editing the status down here. When you've entered the details, be sure to select Apply. OK, your changes have been saved and the new status will appear in the Status column under the Enrollment tab. Now let's look at how to change the completion status for the whole course here. Here you can change the progress for the entire course to completed. Again, you add the reason down here. Be sure to save your changes in order for them to come into effect and the completion status to change. If you want to undo these changes, edit the user's enrollment again. Next, go back into the course's completion status and you'll see a new recalculate option that has appeared in this dropdown. Save your changes and you'll see that the status has been changed back to in progress. To make things faster, admin can change the status of several users at once. The user will receive notification that the status has been changed and will see the modules or courses new status when they open it in the My Courses section of the user portal. You can easily tell if the course status has been set manually. If you run the reports for a course or a user as you usually do, you'll see this small icon next to the course or module status in the results. It indicates a manual change. If you hover over it, you will see all of the details like who has changed the status, when, and why. And that's how easy it is to change a course's and module's completion status in iSpring Learn. Test it out yourself.